What's going on everyone? My name is Glorious Mischief. Welcome back to Elden Ring. And the last episode, we beat the Sneaky Boy. And this episode, I wanted to try to figure out how to get down to the lower areas. Um, which I still don't really know how to do. So, my idea is that I'm at the Morth Ruins right now. And it's a place of interest, so I'm assuming that there's something there. And then if you look down here, there's all this stuff over here. And there's a big, long path that leads up to this thing, which I'm really curious about. So I'm hoping I can get down there by going through the Morth Ruins. Because, if you remember, when I was over here last time, there was like a giant pit in the ground. And I feel like it's gonna be the way that we need to go, right? Like, that just feels like something that's gonna happen. So, I'm gonna check it out. Sorry, glowing eye man, but you give me lots of runes and I can't resist it. So I need to find out the way... Okay, cool. We're going down. Hello? Can I still ride my horse? I can! Horse! Oh, there was a dog! <laughs> Sorry about that, little dog. He was just running behind me. Hello, friend! More dogs! Look at this dog! He was so rude! Bonus dog. And no more dogs. Yay! A mushroom. Interesting. Okay. Um... We're, uh, let's head down into the pit and see what's a cooking. What's behind me? Anything important? Or is it death? Does death approach? No death. Love it. Okay. Don't eat it. Golden horde and tender. Little chicken tender for us to get in there. We don't need to worry about it. Ooh. Yeah, this seems like a, a path, right? I, um, I have been still trying to keep as DLC spoiler-free as I possibly can be. <gasps> boy down here. So I still don't know exactly what to do and where to go. Hello! There's many boys! Oh, there's a third boy! I didn't see you! Ooh, they're so cool looking, those guys. Creepy. What are you? Golden Arts. Hmm. I have decided, or I shouldn't say I've decided, but as you can tell through the gameplay, I'm not using any buffs, any spells. It would make everything way easier if I did, uh, but I really, really, really want to experience this game just using these starter weapons to see if it's even, like, physically possible. Because it's been possible, but it's also kind of obnoxious. <laughs> like, I can't deny it. The strength builds seem like the way to go. I've talked to a couple other people who, um, who've been playing the DLC uh, pretty regularly, and all of them are using strength builds, and it seems like that stagger is just so clutch. So, you know, we're living the, the life that we're living over here, and we're going starter weapons through it all. <laughs> hey, friend. Ooh, brace him to the top. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Man, this ladder's big. Oh, he disappeared before we could figure out who was going to be the fastest. The fastest boy. How far do I have? Oh, okay. <gasps> Ooh, side of grace. Am I down? <gasps> I am down. The Bonnie Village. Oh, Bonnie Village. Ooh, I can summon here. I don't like the fact that I can summon here. That's not a. That's not great. You're just a friend, right? Yeah, you're a friend. Okay, and nothing. Okay, cool. But I can guarantee you that one of these guys is going to pop up, right? Is it going to be the gross... Gross, um... Fleshy women? Oh no, you pop out of there! Hey! And you throw stuff at me. Don't do it. Why can I summon in here? Oh, look at that guy. Is he hiding behind here? Nope, it's just yellow. <laughs> I thought that was a guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can guarantee you that the purple stuff is being guarded by something. It's just these guys, though. This little village is very unassuming. Very friendly little boys. Thanks, they just wanted to come over and give hugs. Hefty cracked pot. There's so many of them. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to kill you all, but here we are. Pardon. Sorry about that. Totally my bad. Oh, there's another one. Jeez. There's just a bunch of them. 
Someone was attacking. Was it that guy who was behind us? Are they attacking loudly? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not really exactly... I'm not exactly, like, terrified by this. Oh, there's a friend! Greater Potentate! Is this is the guy who's got the, um... He's got the... He makes the... The... the what's it called? The... The... Woo! He makes the... Ouch! He makes the cookbooks. He's got the cookbooks. Ooh! I need to not be a fool! We're gonna heal. Are you gonna heal too, Potentate? Or are you just done? You don't need to heal. Alright, cool. <laughs> All right, easy enough. Does he give us his weapon or anything? Nope. He's just a dude who's in a village. I wonder if that's the reason why the summon was there. I can go here. That seems like a dead end, which I'm about. I love to explore. So let's do the dead end real quick. See what's down here. And then I'm really curious. Ooh, I'm really curious about the, um, that like greenhouse area. Cause that seems so interesting. I'm very fascinated with the greenhouse. But what's over here? Huh? Over? Oh, scorpion boys! Hello, scorpion boys! Oh, he's he's hucking his poison at us. Don't poison us, friend. Sorry, pardon. Thank you. There was another scorpion hiding in the bush. There was a bush scorpion. Oh my gosh, when they get cooking, they get cooking. Can you not be cooking? Thank you. So gross and giant. Leap attack! <laughs> Jeez, man. This one had some health. He was like a super scorpion. Okay. Well, thanks, buddy. Oh, but yeah, um, like I was saying, this build is definitely not DLC approved. So if you are playing the DLC uh, and you are thinking about doing this, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> There's way easier ways to run through this than what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, there's that. Bonnie Gale. Or the Jail. Sorry, I keep calling it the Gale. I know that it's um, supposed to be pronounced Jail. Let's just check down here real quick to see if there's anything delicious. Or if this is just another one of those ooh, problematic areas. I kind of want to explore. Oh, it's a big one. Let's go explore. Ambush? What ambush? Show me ambush. Right? Oh, look at her. She jumped. Poor girl, she just fell. Sorry, baby. Sorry about your little tumble. I love how she got stuck. Um, and then this guy's just a lone dude? Oh no, there's two dudes. He's not alone, but for all intents and purposes, he's alone. Oh, is there a sh steaky steak here? I don't think there's a steaky steak here. Ooh. Oh, no, there is. Dog? Offer healing, by the way, love. <laughs> Are those notes pretty foul? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Curse Blade Labyrinth? Oh. I don't love it. Okay. Is he cursing? Oh, wow. We do some damage to him, though. I love that. Oh, but he is... When he gets bumping, he gets bumping. Let's stay top. Don't do it. Oh, he be flopping. Is that it? <laughs> no. No. That was it? <laughs> that was so much buildup. It was so dramatic. And then he just died right away. Well, what a fun time. I guess we're leaving. <laughs> that is the most pointless dungeon. <laughs> wow. I was so sure that there was going to be like a... <laughs> I got more runes. There was going to be a part two <laughs> to that fight. Just because like he sent out his like nasty... Ooh, I got a Shadow Realm Blessing. Uh, he sent out his nasty stuff and then it was like... All right, well, uh, I guess the fight's over. <laughs> Shadow Realm. Ooh, I've got a Skidoo? Yeah. Nice. Three for the next one. How many, how many Skidoo tree blessings do I have? Also, 
uh, a subscriber told me the other day that um, it's not Skudu Tree, it's Shadu Tree. And I was like, wow, interesting. I had no idea. That's apparently how you say it in that language. So, don't know what language it is, still. But that's good to know. I don't think I have any Shadu Trees. Okay, cool, I need three more. Okay, to get to ten. And I'm pretty sure ten is max, right? Am I wrong? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. All right, what, what is giving me runes? Is it just these scorpion boys? I'm out of here, by the way. I'm not dealing with the scorpions. You can you can have your scorpion time. I'm out. I've already dealt with you once before. Now I don't care about you. Ooh, going back over the bridge. I wonder if the um, NPC I fought respawns when you come back in here. Sometimes the game likes to do that, but a lot of times they don't. And it seems like with the DLC, they're just like, well, you fought him once, now you're done. Which I'm not complaining about, right? Like, it's kind of nice to have that finality to it. Ooh, that is death down there. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's funny when they come back. And you're just like, well, that was unexpected. Ooh, there's a pit down there. I kind of want to go into the pit and explore it, because that seems like it's dangerous down there. And I like danger. Ooh, let's go down to the pit. There's dogs. Hello! Pardon. And hello! And dodge. And hello! Thank you, dogs. Living jar shard. <laughs> Tiny bones. Bones. And shards. Ooh, let me just check down here real quick to see if there's anything delicious at the end of this little pit. Um... And then I can keep on trucking. I want to go across that other bridge. <gasps> oh, Golden Eye Dog. Ooh, 007. 9,000 hoos. Dang. Ooh, I'm so glad I went down this pit. There's one of these little shabble shabs. Give me shabbles. Yeah. I bet that gives me another level. Um, I am trying to avoid using the mimic because it's still cheesy. It's still very cheesy, and I'm only going to use him, like, I, you saw me use him on, um, what's his name, Snakey Boy, um, because, man, I was having a hard time with him, but I am going to try to keep it as pure as possible, um, but I'm also going to keep myself sane, so, there's that, and I'm just enjoying the challenge of having to, what the heck hit me, dog? Um, I'm enjoying ch the challenge, oh my gosh, he's, there is another one, he came back, I was wondering if he was going to come back. He does come back. Let me take out Rockman. Come on, potentate. Let me potten all over your tatum. Ooh, he got me and I didn't get him. And a dog came out. Oh, I missed him. What is he? Why is he sharp? Is he like playing Monster Hunter? <laughs> right? Or is he like, is that some sort of glint thing that he can use? Not glint. Um, but the, ooh, nice jump, brother. I can't even be mad. That was awesome. Ooh, that was cool. Wee! Hee hee! I'm faster than you are. Ooh, oh, he's doing his little bunny hop. Can I butt stab? I can butt stab! When he's sharpening. <laughs> Let's just take care of this. <laughs> I've already killed you once. Sorry, potentate. But, you shall be potentated. I do appreciate your cookbooks, friend. Don't get me twisted. Um, okay, so right behind me, to the right, hey, that's the other side of the bridge. Pardon, sorry, buddy, sorry, sorry, pardon. <gasps> Rockman. <laughs> Woo. Can I leap? Let me get up here and defeat the Rockman. I don't know why I feel the urge to destroy, like, everything that's, that's put in front of me. But man, sometimes I really want to just get through an area and clear waves. Ooh, it gave me a um, health boost, too. <gasps> Another potentate? Oh, so it wasn't the same one. That's kind of neat that there's just a bunch of them. Pardon, potentate. Potentate. Okay, got him. Wow, that was easier than before. What were you guarding? And is this a whole other space? <gasps> Ooh, this looks like the opening cutscene, dude. Ooh. Oh, I'm being attacked by something because I can't go to my map and I really want to check out my map to see where I'm at. Who's coming? It's you? These guys. It's Rock Boys. All right, Rock Boys. Pardon? Gotta take you out so I can look at my map. Rock 
man. Oh, there's another rock man. Rock man, what are you doing? All right, let's see. Okay, perfect. That's it. Um, ooh, let me go check over there because I bet that there's a bunch of ways down into this area that I just haven't been doing because I've been so, like, story-driven. Um, it's so unlike me, too. <gasps> ooh, 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 what are you? Ooh. Seek checkpoint. Oh, mother. An action. That's got to be important somewhere. And it's on a statue. Try castle. Hmm, and then hidden path. <gasps> Ooh. Misa Curious. <laughs> I will have to check that out. Oh, mother. Uh, I love that. When I play, um, FromSoft games, a lot of times I have, this is a nerdy port part of my life here, um, but a lot of times I will have a notebook and I will write down things in that notebook where I'm like, okay, I think that this is here or like this does this. Um, so I will put Oh Mother and Castle down because I'm very curious what that means. Very curious indeed. Hello, little zone. Are you going to be a painter's thing or just random stuff? <gasps> Another ghost? What's going on, ghost? Ooh. For pity's sake, your place is in the jar. Night sainthood, nigh sainthood itself awaits with you within. For shamans like you, this is your lot. Life were you, were you accorded for this alone. Ooh. And he's looking at this giant mountain. Don't like the mountain. Seems a little ominous. Whipping hut. Tooth whip. Oh, it's so gross. A whip made out of teeth? Major bar faction, brother. Oh. Miyazaki, you know how to make things gross, brother. Can we just have something fun in the game? The whip of fluffies? <laughs> Can we have something that's nice and enjoyable? Ugh. Gross. Um, let's see where we're at. Sorry, I don't mean to check my map all the time, but I'm very... Okay, perfect. I'm so curious what's up here. <gasps> so curious. We're gonna make it. Do I need to rest? How am I doing? 150k souls. You know what I don't... I haven't checked in a minute is my inventory on shoal actions. Ooh, shadow room. Olden rune 13. I've got... Oh, and they're not great. Those are some... I do have all these. Don't judge me for hoarding them, okay? I will go and check out what they give me in just a bit. Um, but I don't really want to burn anything. I don't feel any pressure. I don't feel like we're going to die anytime soon. <gasps> a perchance foreshadowing of immediate death. <laughs> but I don't feel like we're in a sketchy spot. So... Dog? Is that a dog? No, that's a boar. Or is it a dog? It's a dog! What are you doing? Oh my lord, boar, could you just not... There's apparently dogs up there. What are you doing up here, dogs? You just hanging? Hey! Hey! Oh, they coming. Oh lord, they coming. Let me take these dogs out real quick. Sorry, pardon dog. Pardon. I wonder, um... I'm so curious because obviously the DLCs in these games are not labeled, really. Like, you're going into the situation and it just happens. I wonder how many people, when they bought the DLC to this game, right? If you're not like a FromSoft or like a uh, like a Souls Pro, or you never played him before, really. Ooh, friend! I wonder how many people just like suddenly happened upon it and it was not a fun time for them. Or they're like, oh, great. Ooh, no. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, I can't summon for this. I was going to say, I'm going to summon my, my thing. Oh, my lord. Let's heal. Uh, I can't summon in here, so... Ooh, does... Can I even hurt him? Can I hurt this guy? He's got stuff on his legs. Can I hurt him? I think I am hurting him, technically. Let's see. Let's see if I stagger him. Ooh, I don't like what he's doing. He's doing a lot of fire. I don't think I'm doing any damage to him. You're hitting him. I don't think I'm doing anything to him. Oh, those those noises sound like damage, don't they? They kind of sound like damage. 
but I'm also not hearing the stagger noises I've heard in previous ones. I, I don't know if I'm hurting him at all. Do I need to be a magic user to take him down? Or do I need to jump up on him? And use one of the pots like they described? I bet that's what I have to do. Let's let's try going up this thing. And see where it takes me. Take me home. Country roads. Yeah, that's exactly what it wants you to do. It wants you to use the pots. It's a teaching. Yeah, it's a teaching moment. That's fine. I'm gonna jump down. Oh, 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 oh. I think I'm dying. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Where I literally was at a little torrent place and I fell off the horse. All right, we gotta get back on the horse. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's see. So, crafting. Big pots. I've got plenty for them, right? Why was it that it could only let me... Furnace Visage. Okay, right, I only have that many of those. Hefty Cracked Pots. So that's what I need, is more Hefty Cracked Pots. But it's... Uh, oh! <gasps> oh! So the Hefty Cracked Pots are like, um... Are like the... They're like the, the other things, the little potion bottles. Where you can have as you can always have the same amount. And they never they never like break. So every time I get a hefty cracked pot, I get another one of them, and they're just good forever. I can craft things into them permanently, as long as I use them. Oh, that's really handy to know. That's really handy to know. Okay, so there is a purpose to defeating these golems besides just you've defeated them. That's nice to know. Um. Okay. I was already going to defeat him anyways, but let's keep, let's defeat him again, because I want to do it now. So you got to time your approach with this. Where's my eye? There they are. Love that they're right there. Okay, so he does his fires, and some of them come at you. I don't love that they target you. Okay, perfect. Now we go to the edge, and we huck. Oh, he's jumping. Did I miss him? Let's do it again. Don't do it. Okay. Oh. How many of these can I do? I think I need more of them than I have. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna die. I need more of them than I have. That's the truth of the matter. I need to get another one, so I need to go defeat some of the other pots before <laughs> the other pots. I need to go defeat some of the other, um, flamey boys before I can take this guy on. Good to know. Good to know. He's a later, he's a later one that I can deal with when I have more pots. But for right now, I don't have enough pots. My pots were insufficient. Insufficient pottage. Um, but I can go back and defeat some of the other ones, because they're, they're really not that bad. Especially now that I know that the pots actually do work. Fascinating. I am so curious what is up in here. Because I feel like there's going to be something good up at the top of this little run. Um, sorry to be anticlimactic with the flamey dude, but there's literally nothing I can do. Like, I think the pots are the only way to hurt him. Um, and I just don't have enough pots. Don't have enough fresh pots. <laughs> if you don't know what fresh pots is, dude. Ooh, Dave Grohl's a legend. That is such a funny one. Ooh. Okay, we're in. Rabbit's Rise. I'm not used to acquire materials. Okay. I'm not used to coming into these things um, without there being something blocking you from them. Which means I feel like there's either going to be... There's probably not going to be much in here. That looks like a really cool chest. I wish I could open that. Um, I bet there's going to be like a memory stone at the top of this. That's what they always do with these... Ooh. Lever! It does not move. Okay. Oh. Let me go down here. Oh, is that the beginning? Hmm. It is, isn't it? Fascinating. So that lever doesn't work. Ah. Interessant. Is there anything up there? Kind of hard to tell. Whatever. Uh, these rises are for magic users anyways. 
No, nah, not that. Wait a second. There's a dog. I mean, a turtle. <laughs> nimble sort. He's not nimble. Oh, dog. Yeah, usually these things are locked up. So there is a thing up there. Mm, I'll figure it out at some point. But for now, we move. Um, there was a little tunnel down there, too. Did you, you guys saw the tunnel. I wasn't tripping out, right? There's a big old tunnel. Is that what I came through? It's right over there. I don't know if it is. I think I came from down there, right? There's a tunnel over here. Was there? Am I tripping out? There's a bunch of dogs. Uh, no, I was tripping out. I thought there was a tunnel. I'm hallucinating. Cool. Um, okay. So that's the shadow tree. We know that much. <gasps> that's the tunnel that I saw. Okay, I'm very, I'm very curious what's past here over there. Because that's going to lead me under there. Ooh, I bet it leads me over there to this nasty, goopy mast. Um, but for right now, I want to go this way. Because for the longest time in the DLC, I've been curious about what the heck is in this greenhouse. And I know it's not a greenhouse, probably, but I think it looks like a greenhouse on the map. And I want to check it out. I just want to see what's going on. They just gave me a, the, the heels for those two boys? Alright, I'll take heels for those two boys. About as easy as it gets. Oh, there's a bunch of them. They've created... They, they totally road-trapped me here. Tricky habitses. Pardon? Pardon? And there's the other ones over there. I will come and attack you guys just because you guys tried to trap me. And I don't appreciate that kind of activity. <sighs> Sweet. I was going to say, funny if they gave, they gave you the extra heals for defeating the two and not all of those guys. I've got so many arrows in me. I'm all right, don't find me! <laughs> Ooh, is there going to be a boss in here? It seems like a bossy chapel. No? Cathedral of Manus Matier. Ooh. This seems so creepy, doesn't it? It's a cathedral. I thought it was a greenhouse. Turns out it's a cathedral. Is there going to be a boss, like, right in here? Because that would be kind of cool. I wouldn't be mad about it. <gasps> That's looking so bossy. Wait a second. I can't attack in here? Quah? I can't attack in here? There's no boss? What are you? What are you? Are you just a friend? Well... We don't often receive visitors. I am Emir. Welcome to Manus Meta. It is a pleasure to have you. In lands so forsaken as these, <laughs> chance encounters are precious indeed. Seeing that we have convened here on this day, allow me to mark the occasion with a modest offering. Can I give you something back? Whole laden necklace. And a runes map. Map to old runes received. Check an inventory. Hold on. Hold on. Because you've given me a key item. A whole laden necklace. And I really want to read that. Real quick. Use at a hallowed ruin to sound a hanging bell? A pale blue necklace made from a thin, elongated stone hollowed out from the inside. Use at a hallowed ruin, a hallowed ruin to sound a hanging bell. Who is a teaching of Count Emir. The fate of the one who sounds the hanging bell will be guided by the stars. Cool. Wait a second. What was this? Uh, if you can decide. Oh, I already read that one. So a hanging bell. All right. Cool. And then he also gave me a little notey note. He passed me a little note. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Ruins map. Um... Simple old map, faded and dirty, acquired from Count Ymir, High Priest. Indicates the location of a hallowed ruin. I only wish to be of service. Huh. It's... A hallowed ruin. And it looks like it's in some sort of, like... Hmm, canyon? Is it a canyon that I'm seeing? I don't know. Doesn't match anything that I can see. Uh, okay. Well, 
I'll have to check that out because that's pretty cool. The map I gave you charts the site of a hallowed ruin. Hmm. It is said that after sounding the hanging bell there, one's fate will be guided by the stars. Ooh. I only wish to be of service. Okay. To help those who fight for their purpose. Guided by the stars. I'm not mistaken, am I? I can see it in your eyes. You are a fighter. Are you not? I am. Um, Is something I've given you a map? Oh, I suppose you expect ooh, a lesson of me. A third you? thing. I know the feeling. Those with purpose are nothing if not ravenous. Okay. For power. For truth. I thought he was going to fight me. Oh, study sorceries. Ooh, those are cool sorceries. Ooh. Okay, well, I don't want them. I am a glintstone sorcerer. Okay. We study the stars and examine the life therein. Are you familiar? Long ago, we began hmm. as stardust, born of a great rupture. We, too, are children of the greater will. Is okay. Is that not divine? Is that not sublime? And yet, none can fathom its implications. Its utter brilliance. Okay. Oh, yes. Do mind your feet around the church. <laughs> you wouldn't want to hurt the little boy. The little boy? Who's the little boy? Who's the little boy? I don't like that. But there's a little boy around here. It sounds creepy. It sounds creepy. Huh? Lord, Lord of mercy. Um, so. The Glintstone Sorcerers, they're in the main game. They're like the, the Rey Lucaria people. And, um, they've got the people who have all of the, um... Like the finger, like the hands and the fingers and everything. That's like glintstone. Um, and anyone here? What is this? Just a bunch of okay. I guess this is legitimately like a church. I feel like I'm a tour. I'm on a tour guide right now, or on a tour right now. Um, so I wonder if it's got anything to do with the fingers. Ah, huh, glintstone map. Ooh. There's something up there. I'm so curious about this space because it's such a big space for there to be nothing here. There's also a blood stain. Hold on, let's watch the blood stain. There's going to be an enemy fight here. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I don't like it. There's clearly something going on here at this church. Watch your step for the boy. I've tried rolling. There's no secret passage. You guys are rude. Um, it's so creepy that there's a boy in this church and I'm not going to see him. <laughs> but, that's cool. Uh, we've gotten that thing, that whistle. I wonder what it's for. There's a little, little hidden shabble over here. What's in the shabbles? Nothing? Sorry, I don't mean to explore this place ad nauseum here, but I'm very curious. Glintfly, Glintslab Firefly. Man, it feels like there's something going on here, doesn't it? Oh, this is the most frustrating parts of these games, Miyazaki. Is you get to these places and you're like, I've been waiting to get to this place because it looks so notable on the map. Like, like, look, look how big this place is. Count Emir High Priest, huh? Well, I guess that's the direction I've got to go now. But once I find that place with the hanging bell, dude, I'm gonna be ringing my bell. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be whistling, I'm gonna whistle up a storm. I'm so curious. Should I go? I'm very curious to go around the church. If that's even a viable thing, let's just do a little loop around. Cause that's in the church grounds. <gasps> What are you? That's a gold tortoise. Ooh. 
So this is like a this has got to be like a super sacred site because the turtles are always around the glintstone stuff. And I've never seen an old, old, old turtle like that. I'm guessing that this is a super important place right here. It's also super cool. And I hope that there's more to this. Please, please let there be more to this. What are you? Are you a coffin? Ooh. Examine remains. <gasps> this is the thing that lets you duplicate. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to duplicate that one. Oh, and these guys are just here. Um... You can duplicate them for items, or you can just duplicate them for flat extra souls slash runes. Um, at this stage, I generally duplicate for runes just because I don't, I'm not obviously going to be using any items. Um, because I'm here and I've chosen the curse of starting weapons. <laughs> uh, ooh, it's over there. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. I wasn't trying to get staved, but I got... Jeez, 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 jeez. Once they get their handy jams going, they really get cooking. Jeez, brother. Ugh. I'm trying a new acupuncture service. It's more painful than I was expecting. <laughs> you should see the masseuse. She's got hands of fury. <laughs> got him. And... There's my masseuse. Thank you. Okay, now I can chill for two seconds. Have I been over there? Yeah, I have. Nicholas Cross. Ooh, have I been over there? I'm looking straight ahead at it, right? Ooh, yeah, I have. Okay, that's over here. Ooh, cool. That was... This place, there is... This is a Transformer situation. There's more than meets the eye, my dude. Like, I can guarantee you... There's something more here, and especially since I did the Ronnie quest line. I know that when, um, like, Miyazaki came out and was talking about this, he was like, Oh yeah, none of the quest lines are going to be deterrents, slash are going to stop you from accomplishing anything in the DLC. Which I think is a very noble thing to do. Um, but I think it would be really cool if we had, if it had implication. You know? Like, you've essentially destroyed a god in the main game, right? We've defeated Elden Beast. Um, we've also sided with Ronnie. Anything? Group ahead. I already did it. Um, so it's like, there's a lot of... There's a lot of things that have happened in the base game. <gasps> there's a friend! And there's Thing! Anything good? Linting Nail! <gasps> Hold on, friend! It's when it's in one of these glinting nail, glinting nail, glinting nail. There it is. FP to fire a shattering magic nail. Wow, that's gross. Um, can I horse? I can horse. Um, I feel like it'd be cool to have some repercussions for our decisions in the main game. You know, maybe that's just me though. I, I'm a big fan of having games with like weighty decisions in them. Uh, it just makes it so that the story feels like, you know, like it means something. Like, if you're playing a game and, like, everything is just available all the time, regardless of what you decide, then why does it matter what you decide? Hmm? Why? Ooh, potentate's cookbook. Okay, so these just guys are just around. They're not really guarding anything, they're just there. So, I think we've explored this area pretty sufficiently, which kind of makes me sad, because I was hoping it was going to have a lot of answers, and it's given me nothing but questions. But it's really pretty. And look at that sky. I mean, my lord, dude. Yes? Please. Ugh. I love these games. They're so pretty. They're so hard. They're so pretty. <laughs> Let's see what the big cave has to offer. Because I feel like... We've been working hard to get to this lower area, and there's got to be a purpose to it, right? Okay, so there's the cave. I saw something on top of the cave. Don't mind me getting distracted over here. I think it was either a... Uh, gravesite? Or it was something of interest. It is a gravesite, I think. Ooh. What is this? It's just graves. Oh! Oh, what the heck? 
I've never seen those guys before. Or have I? Are these just standard DLC skelly boys? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Gotcha. There's got to be a purpose to this area, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm just saying that a lot in the DLC. Like, there's got to be a reason why this is here, right? Love Ward 6. Hmm, and then some spirit stone. Sorry. I don't think there's really any purpose to this. Fine. Let's um let's go to the end, end of this real quick and just make sure. What happened to my horse? Where are you? Oh, you're just skelly. Can I I can get them before they even come up? I love that. That's adorable. Okay. Sorry. Let's go over here. Check off everything on our list, and then we can go into the tunnel below us. Because I think that's probably going to be the way forward. Let's be honest. If not, that's fine. I just want to explore. Because I'm a shucker for exploring. There's friends here. There are friends here. Are they alive friends? No, they're dead friends. Pardon, friends. Ooh, oh, what's he doing? He's, he, this man can fly? He's got a heal. What on earth? The dude flew. Y'all see that? That boy flew. <laughs> that boy was flying. Is there a door here? That looks. Are you a friend? You are. Forge your brood cookbook and do gem. Thanks, buddy. Let's see what your stuff is. Um, the cookbooks are they in here? No. I always forget them. Forger Brew Cookbooks. Forger Brew Cookbook 6. Okay. Uh, Well-Pickled Turtleneck. Wow. I got the Steve Jobs Cookbook. Well-Pickled Turtleneck. Uh, praise the Mushroom. Thanks, bud. Okay. I think that these guys have something to do with someone's quest. <laughs> and I don't know whose quest it is. But I, none of the NPCs I've talked to have said anything about, Have you seen the tiny guys? The little shrimp boys. None of them have talked about the shrimp boys. And I know that's not what they're actually called, but I call them the shrimp boys. So don't be hating on my shrimpies. Ugh. They're little shrimp prawns. Prawny shrimps. Ooh, that's too high to jump. I've made a mistake in my return route. Pardon? Thank you, sheep. Um, I have yet to kill a sheep in this playthrough, I'll have you know, and I have no intention of killing any of the sheep. They're adorable, and I love them. So, have at you, dude. Ooh, seems familiar. Does it seem familiar? Does it seem familiar? I don't know if it does. There's a bunch of giant spears in here, giant arrows. <gasps> No, is there a dude in the DLC who's like the, um... Who's like the guy in Dark Souls 3? Who shoots arrows from like 7 million miles away? Is there? Hidden path. There's not. I can guarantee you there's not. You jerkosauruses. These guys. And they're stupid. Uh-oh. Horse? Horse? <laughs> Everyone's just like, where's my horse? Okay. I don't love... Oh. Oh. Where am I? Seriously, where am I? Oh, I'm on the other side of the castle. That's cool. I love that. Ooh, Shadow Realm Blessing. That's right. I've got the revered spirit ash. Heck yeah, bro. Nope. I need more skadoos. Let me check my levels. Because I think I'm, I can get a level. I don't really need a level at this point. Whoops, not past time. Level up. Okay, I just need 20k. So, let's go ahead and pop 20k. Because I've got so many of these shazamels. There you go. Perfect. One of them. La la. Level up. I feel like vigor... I mean, it's not really much, right? It doesn't up our defense. Just equip load. Strength is not going to do anything for us. I guess Vigor is the only thing that really makes sense for me right now. Alright. We're up. We're moving. 
Shadowkeep Church District. The District of the Church. Oh, that dude is eating that body over there, isn't he? Gross. Time for crab. There's crabs? Crab. I don't really want crabs. Crab. Ooh. Does not move. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think that water was that deep. All right. So, as it turns out, the direction I went was not the direction you were supposed to go, which means that this is an elevator that comes up from there somehow? Huh. All right. I think I've got to jump to this little spot. And, ooh, they are little crabs. They're such little cra crab eggs. Gross, a little crab. Friend, sorry. Sorry, crab friend. They're feasting. They're feasting upon the flesh of the dead. Thin beast bones. Gross. I think I have to jump across these, by the way, because I can't go in the water. I cannot. I'm not allowed to go in the water. So, fun times, with the water being so problematic. Oh my gosh, I've got to jump straight over to there. Okay. I want to go over there because that seems so treacherous. And I love some treachery. Oh, what was that? What is that? Is there a monster in the water who comes up and grabs me with little monstery tentacles? Mmm. Let's see. And leap. And leap. Leap. Wow, I made it was not expecting to make that. Oh, there is something in there. That tree just shook. Great grave glo glove wart. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I don't need it. Okay, I can't get over there. The trees were just totally falling over, which leads me to believe that there's something horrific in the water. Okay. And leap. And leap. Whoa, that was so close. Man, this is such a sketchy area. This is like... Ooh, this is so intense. Because that's the parkour of, of Elden Ring is very dirty. Like, there is no clear, clear set paths. You have to, like, hope for the best all the time. Which is slightly stressful. Oh. Atlantis. Look at these flamey boys. What are you doing in Waterland, dude? Yeah, sorry. That seems like the worst scenario for you. Sorry. I blew up. I've blown up. Are you a little grave? Hi, grave. <laughs> I can stagger you out of exploding. <laughs> got it. What you got for me, buddy? Wow. So glad I came over here. Aw, hi, crab. Is there any is there any way forward? Ooh, there is a way forward. Oh gosh, these guys are so obnoxious. Will you just jump off the edge and kill yourself? Come on. You know you want to. He <laughs> thought about it. Oh, there's another one. You can explode. Thank you. And let's get you. Perfect. Is there a ladder or anything over here? Nope. All right. The church district is proving gross and problematic. And I'm kind of about it. Beating to a pulp, all the more bravery required head. Oh, Lord. One of the red girls? All right. You got to rush them because they... Whoa, they do stuff. All right. You're going to do your thingy again? Perfect. That actually was kind of handy. Remember, we can stagger them. If we're not a fool. Oh, I was a fool. Okay. And she's doing that again. Okay. I'm a fool again. Ooh, Staggy's work. Gotcha, baby. Oh, Esmer. Ember of Mesmer. Ember Mesmer. <laughs> Ember Mesmer. <laughs> Why is it that everything in this game is a tongue twister? And I feel like I generally don't have a lot of tongue twisters. 
Ooh, that is, is that the way to go? That is so gross, Elden Ring. Slumbering egg. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, there's something clearly in the water. There's someone on the way. Some thing. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Which I don't love. Ooh. Ooh. I really don't love that there's something in the water. I'm not going down there. And even if there was, you could give me all the items in the game, I'm not going down there. That is the way forward? Oh my lord. I think that's the way forward. Because there's nothing over here, right? No. No, sir. There's nothing over here. This place is insane, dude. Oh, I really, I know I'm going to have to fight whatever is like orphan around down there. Not a big fan of it, you know? Not a big fan of the fact that I know I have to fight whatever's in the water. Ugh, creepy crawlies, dude. Anything down there? Just some crafts. Can I get a little resting site? Because I feel like I'm just hoping that I don't get murdered at every turn. So the crabs don't care about you. Will you care if I touch your item? Nope, you don't care at all. Cool. That's good to know. Crabs are friends. I'm guessing that this door doesn't open from the other side or from this side. Yep. Oh, a prayer room key. <gasps> I have this. Mother to us all, favor me with thy grace. Okay. I have met many who would threaten or distress thee and quelled each and all. And I hereby swear to never cease. So please grant me thy grace. Homie? Leave me with my solitary light. I'm sorry. Queen Marika, I implore thee, take not from me my solitary. Use Iris of Oculation. I got that from the thingy majiggy. Am I being horrible by doing this? Or am I being nice? I would not. Am I not pure? Define I think I just was a jerk. I would never. I ask, why wouldst thou think to purloin from me? Deignest thou not to look upon me? Uh, all this time, I held in my heart only thee. Was I just a total jerk? Oh, he died. Queeline's Greatsword. I mean, I'm going to look at it because why not? Queeline's Greatsword. I just totally made that man kill himself, by the way. So, uh, feeling great about myself over here. I don't know why. I guess I just took the light from him and made him sad. Let's look at it. I know. Ooh. Oh, it's so cool. Ooh. I dig it. Um, I, so he was asking her, please don't take my light, please don't take my light. And I was like, mm, well, let me take your light then, friend, because that iris thingy, it makes it so that things can't see the light anymore. It takes all the light away. So I feel like I was just horrible to that poor man who was just dying there. Sorry, bud. And he just killed himself. Okay, there's bloodstains here. Don't love it. Beware of enemy. Oh, you. Is there another one in here? Nope, there's not. There's just a purple item. Rune of an unsung hero. Well, bud, you will remain unsung. Hello. Let's be a, let's be annoying to them, because they're annoying to me. Have some of that. Have some of this, because your fire. Ooh, your fire can get through the wall. And have some of that. I think that you guys are rude. So have that. Hold it in your chest, baby. Ugh. This is the way? Water slide. Water slide? Seek lever. Lever and then grace ahead. Lever? Ooh, that's an item in there. And I know that if I go to it, I will get murdered. Mesmer. Man, I have... Ooh, hello, friend. Come at me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let's heal up. Let's just be not cool. 
Ow! Ow! Oh! I thought I thought he got me for sure. Ooh. There's a grace ahead? Are you sure? I really don't trust these things. Ooh. Man, is this gonna take me up to where uh, my first grace was? That would be really nice if it did. I don't think it will though. Where is this taking me? Ooh, I do look really cool in this armor with the twin swords though, I will say. Oh, it was funny. Someone got super mad at me because I was saying I'm using the twin swords only as the starting weapons. They're like, oh, those are Uji Katanas. And I was like, brother, I appreciate the fact that you're trying to say it, but it's not the truth, baby. Ooh, this takes you to the specimen storeroom. Ooh, but a weird side that I've never been on. Cool, Eolia. Oh, what's here? Anything good? No. It's cool that this place continues to expand. The specimen storeroom. Oh, shoot. First of all, I should rest because, my lord, it's been a saga to get here. Is this where that ladder is that I never was able to get to? Ooh. Well, it is a ladder. It's not the ladder that I was talking about, but that's cool. Are you guys guarding anything good? Can you also not do that? Oh, oh my lord. What is happening? There we go. The the menu really just decided that I didn't want to have weapons out for a second for a second there. Really cool of you, menu. Sorry, sorry, pardon. I'm just trying to kill your friend and then I will leave. She's just chilling. Can I sneak up on you? And give you the handy jammy butt stab? Can. Pardon? And then, ooh, she's a healthy gal. Let's heal up and not be a fool. Wee! Wee! <laughs> and to finish you off. Oh, perfection. Carrion thrusting shield. I'm never gonna use that shield. I'm not allowed to, man. Not one of the starting weapons. And a shield qualifies as a weapon. In my eyes. Because I'm apparently a purist for no reason. Ugh. Let's see where this takes me. I'm curious. I'm very curious. I do, I do need to go back down there because I'm very interested. Oh, this is the ladder I was looking at before and I wondered how to get to it. It goes through the bookshelves. Tricky, tricky hobbitses, man. Tricksy hobbitses. Um... Yeah, I want to go back down there because I want to see where that water area goes to. Oh. Revenge. <laughs> Can I push her off the edge? I love that. That is so nice for me to have. <laughs> she didn't attack me, though, when I was going through the, um... When I was going through the main area. When I was going through it the first time. Huh. What is going on? How is it? This this area is insane, by the way. Up and then behind. Behind? Oh! You! It's crazy how, like, twisty-turly this place is. Okay, thanks. Like, there's so much going on in this space. I know. Oh, I did. I blocked it with the, the stirs. I like it when you do it right, stir. Thank you. Hehe. <laughs> Oh, don't get mad at me and say I'm cheesing the game because the game cheeses you too, homie. All right. Know your strengths. And my strengths can lie in the map as well. Hello. I really want to go back down. And I know that I want to go there and I'm going to do it. But man, right in the grace ahead. Here. <gasps> Ooh, right in the grace ahead. Hello, friend. Is a grace up here? What on earth is going on in here, dude? I'm so, I'm so confused on where we are. We're up in Mesmer's spot, right? And then there's an even more advanced... What the heck? How is this area so labyrinthian, dude? 
It's wild. All right, well, keep going up, I guess. This is insane. Does this go up or go down? It goes up. I'm so confused on what I'm doing with my life. There's a purple item on that cog. Oh my gosh. Tell me right now. How many of you guys who have played the DLC have gotten here? There was something that just flew. Like, seriously. This feels like I'm a million miles off the beaten path. Like, the furthest I possibly could be off the beaten path, doesn't it? Gotcha! We're just in range. Like, I, I don't think I've ever been more sure of the fact that I'm not where I'm supposed to be than I am right now in this moment. Because I'm over the top of this chamber so high- Oh, I'm so close to the top, though. That is a curious little kitten right there, man. Okay, so I can go there. There's bats everywhere. The, the blood! Turning out to be a clutch addition for the bats. Because I can just do that. Oh, Lord. I almost stepped off the edge. That is so nice against the bats. Seriously. Bending Stone 7. Bunch of garbage. I think I need to go over there. I need to take that ladder down. And then I need to shabble around, right? It's a lot of shabbling. That purple item is very tempting. Very tempting to get the purple item. But I feel like that's the end. Oh. Oh, no. I can go down there. Did that bat just fall? He can fly. <laughs> Did no one tell that bat that he can fly? Leap! Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this is the area I was going to go to. I am so... So very confused on what I'm doing up here. I don't know if there's anything good up here. I don't know if this is even something that you're supposed... Oh, there's another lift? No. No. I refuse to accept this as a part of my life. I'm gonna heal. And I'm gonna leave this lift. Heal. You do you, do you boo-boo. I refuse to accept that into my life. What? Crouching. I will crouch. I'm Arthur Crouch, man. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter, baby. Hello. Crouched. <laughs> I've crouched. And then... Oh, love it. Don't love that. I can finish him off, though. Okay, I'm getting better at fighting these red gods. Red guided ladies. Rune of an unsung hero again? Is there any purpose to where I am? Can anyone tell me? Because I need to go back up there. Ugh. I need to deal with this problematic boy. Ugh, I don't want to deal with him. He's such an annoyance. Ooh, but there is that little hidden shabble over there. Wait a second. Did he leave? He left. He didn't leave. He's there. He's down there. Alright, let's leave him alone for a bit. He fell down there. So I think he took the elevator down? Did he take the elevator down like a civilized man? What a civilized man. Can I take the... Thank you, ladder. Man, this area feels so unnecessarily sketchy. Right? Okay, ow, ow, ow. Thanks, bud. Okay, yeah, that, he's on the secret zone. That's where I want to go. I'm going to the secret zone. 100% I'm going to the secret zone. And then I'm going to deal with this spellcasting fool. Because he's rude. I don't much care for his rudeness. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever been more stressed in the DLC than in this moment. Right here. Alright, we're gonna go down here. And then we leap. And we deal with this jerk. Where are you? Where'd he go? He was here. Right? Or did he go all the way down? Did I just shortcut it? What on earth? am I supposed to be doing right now? 
I jumped up here. Is there any purpose to this? All the more time for Edge. I don't think there's any purpose to what I just did. And in fact, I think I might be stuck up here. Weird, FromSoft. Really weird. Alright, I think that that's, that's all that you get up there. You get some secrets. Shwatevs, dude. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Um, okay, so... Loft back section. We don't want to go there. Uh, let's go back to... Loft. Because I think that's the shrine we were at. Okay. So this is... A path. Too high up. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's the way I came. Okay, so I went up here. I took that. Perfect. Okay. So we know where we are. We know the nightmare that we've entered into our, our, our existence here. Ugh. This place is insanely built. There's so many directions that you can go. And it's just kind of absurd how much everything is intertwined in this space. Like, this map has been so vertical. Everything about it is so vertical. And it makes it impossible to tell where to go. And I understand that FromSoft is probably not trying to make it easy for us to understand the layout of the DLC. Which I fully respect, right? Like, make it confusing. But man, this map seems intentionally confusing. Does it not? Maybe I'm alone in that belief. Ooh, can I sneak up again you again? Because it was really fun to do this. And I just feel like it's just something you should do a couple times in your life. Bye. <laughs> also, 8,000 souls. Come on. We're not upset about 8k. We'll take that to the bank then, friend. I don't know the purpose of going all the way up there. Like, ooh. Ooh. You're just a dead dude down there. Weird. Y'all see that, right? Hmm. Gross. Um. That that area up top. Oh, Lord, I'm guessing it's just a little secret area that you can get to if you really feel a little frisky, which I clearly did. Um, but we're getting out of here. We're going back into the water to deal with the kraken or whatever is living down there, man. Because I'm sure that something's down there and it's making a lot of noise, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, also, I altered this armor, uh, so now you don't have a cape on. I find that taking the capes off of the armor is actually kind of beneficial because you have more um, area that you can see. Uh, it's less flowy and cool, but it's really nice to be able to see stuff. Really nice. Ugh. Shadow Keep Church District. We're back, baby. I really want to go up here. Oh, I forgot that you were here. These little flamey church ladies. No. I took that one to the face. Whoa! And give him one more. For good old time's sake. I would... I'm... How frisky do I feel? I feel frisky. Oh. A skidoo fraggle. I'm glad I felt frisky. I need to get back over there, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was so stressful, but Fraggy, Fraggy was worthwhile. Ooh, lever? What on earth with the contraptions? Ugh. Can there be a contraption to just make all the water go away? Ah, that'd be nice. Because this area is confusing. I need to go this way. Oh, I need to go this way. I need to figure out. Oh, there's bats. What's up, bat? Oh my gosh. He almost pushed me into the water. Not from an attack, just from flying around. Ooh. Bat. Okay. Don't fall into the pit. I fell into the pit. Hey. That was very nice of you to, to telepath that with your bat wing. That was very unlike Souls games to let you know that something was problematic and about to hit you. Thank you. Be wary of up. I already got him. Okay. Crap. 
There's a trap. Don't go in there. Beware of traps. Does that mean that I can fall through the ground up here? I swear, if you do that to me, I'll be cross. Ooh. Ever? What does this do? Is this going to lower the water in this area? I'm kind of terrified about what's lurking underneath here, man. This is a pretty big seeming cutscene for something that doesn't feel like it's really supposed to be in the main game. Right? Maybe this is the path you're supposed to take. If that's the case, then Lord have mercy, Elden Ring. You expect a lot out of your players, brother. And now the tree is open. There was something horrifically giant moving down there. Okay. There was definitely something causing the trees to, to move down there. Don't remember? Totally was. <sighs> Alright, now is this not a trap? Not a trap now. Not a trap anymore, baby. I am so confused. Does this seem familiar? It doesn't seem familiar to me. Ugh. What was let's let's what is this grace called? Sunken Chapel. What is going on down here, man? This is insanity. Strong foe ahead. It's just crabs. Is there a giant crab? Is there a giant crab? Come on. Erupt at me, giant crab. You know he's going to pop up. There he is. Okay. He is pretty strong. But he's also not that healthy, the crab. I'm used to the crabs having so much health, and this boy... The camera wasn't doing us any favors, and we got him pretty easily. 6k? I'm, I want to... I think I, I should go here, right? Whoa. Oh, no way! One of these guys is here? How healthy is he? Oh, he's not as healthy as I was expecting. Dodge. Hit him with some blood. Okay, okay. He's got a lot of things going on. But we also have things going on in our lives. Don't tell me about it! Oh, his gross little, like, void chasm. Alright, heal up. Don't be a fool. Okay, jeez, he's slanging us. What on earth is going on down here, dude? I love it, but I'm also terrified of it. Okay, he's screaming. Oh, he's getting crazy. All right, stay hold. Stay, stay hold. Stay full. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, he's going buck wild. Jump at him. And we got to get away from that. Okay. He's stuck in there? No, he's not stuck. He's definitely not stuck. He's the opposite of stuck. He's as free as he's ever been. No. Okay, perfect. Hit him with some sauce. Oh, Lord have mercy. He's insane, by the way. I need to get Stan on the back. Okay. Let him be crazy. Okay. Run in. He's very close to being done. Cleaned him out. Yeah, buddy. The dragony dude at the Mantle of Thorns. That looks awesome. Ooh. He seemed like he was gonna be insane. He wasn't that bad. Okay, there's a there's a big dude in there. Hold on. There was a little thing over to the side. Let's just double check that real quick before I go jumping into massive problems after defeating a huge massive problem as is. I really hope he's a permadeath. Because if he's not, and you have to fight him every time you want to go through there, if there's another problem in there, that is rude. Bravery required ahead. Lord. 
This is so stressful. Oh, it's the beginning! It's the beginning! I don't know why that was bravery required ahead, but I really appreciate it. Ugh. We made it back. Man. That is so... Such a stressful gauntlet to make it through here. Seriously, if this is the way forward from Soft, I have a lot of questions for you. Because this is the most roundabout way to get to any directionality I've gotten in any of your games before. And it's pretty rude. If this dragon comes back, I'm going to have a lot of words for you because he's not easy to defeat. Um, okay, cool. He's permadeath. Oh, man. I was not prepared for the madness that is down here. Ooh. This looks so bossy, doesn't it? He's ranged. Oh. He's got a lot of ranged friends. Okay, let him let him bring his explodies over to me. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh lord, I didn't see that he was on the other side of the wall. Okay, let's just take this guy out. He's being a jerk. Oh, he's more healthy than usual. He's way more healthy than usual. I don't love it. Don't love the fact that he's healthier than usual. Okay. Okay. Let's just be careful. Because it seems like this is the way forward. And if we can just be careful little critters, we should be good. Okay. I don't know why I'm being that careful. That seems a little unnecessarily careful. But I'm here for carefulness. Wow, he's so healthy. Let's jump him. <laughs> Are you guys gonna go down now? Death Mask Helm. Let's check and, check and see if it's any good. Because it'd be kind of funny if it was great. Uh, Death Mask Helm. It is a helmet, right? It was tall. And gross. Death Mask Helm. Was it not in here? Hmm. Is it one of the weapons? Death Mask Helm. Is it like one of those things? No. Huh. Where did it go? I don't know. Weird. Death Mask Helm. Hold on. There it is. It's terrible. Um... Reduces FP used to summon spirits. Man, if you were just a big spirit summoner, congratulations, that's the best ever. I'm not. So, great. But here we go. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's the America statue that we jumped on. I wonder... Fire Knight Seal. Oh, it's like a, a ranged weapon. Um... I wonder if you didn't jump and grab the purple thing at the beginning if it was on the ground afterwards. I kind of feel like you have to jump into her hand to get it, though. And they intentionally made it super sketchy. Fun times. This is a... Why are there so many boss chambers in here? Every single... First off, precious item. Heck yeah. Every single chamber in this area seems like it's all, like there's a, about to be a giant boss. Battlefield Priest Cookbook 1. Let's see what that is. Right? It's in key items. Battlefield Cookbook 1. Um, there it is. Uh, drawstring Golden Grease and Drawstring Golden Grease. Hmm. I want... Ooh. Is this a hidden little path? Nope, that's a death. That is exactly what that is. What on earth is going on over here? No key ahead. Don't have the right. Well, I can open it, so I have the right. Should I, though, is the question? Where do you lead? Even deeper into the castle? Oh my lord. Where does this take me? Oh, it's so deep into the castle. This is gross and creepy. Can we stop? I feel like I'd be looking up at the bottom of this elevator and be like, um... <laughs> can I get off the ride, please? What? On Earth? 
Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? Like, legit. I'm at the Tree Worship Passage. Of course, you know, for worshiping the tree. Whoa. 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 This is starting to look super creepy and ominous, dude. There's something there. And that looks like another Skidoo tree fragment. Is this just Skidoo's? Someone died. Thanks, bud. Iris of Grace? Key item? Hold on. Hold on. Was it, key, was it a key item or was it an uh, item item? Iris of Grace. I don't think it was in a key item. Didn't it here? No. Iris of Grace. Let's find you. There it is. Uh, place an eye on another to grant them light of grace as a fleeting blessing. Place on the eye of another to grant them, yeah. It can also be used to receive the blessing of an equipped great rune. Don't want that. In the realm of shadow, this artifice was employed by the priests of the Erd Tree to quell the fears of their flock. Magnificent, magnificent effect. Okay, so it was, it, this is a really nice thing. Huh. So if there's a someone I really want to give a very ki a nice kindness to, I can give them that. Whoa. Time for head. America's rune. Oh. No. This is looking super spooks down here. Whoa. No. Okay. This uh, this seems problematic. This is the base of the Skidoo tree. What on earth? No. Okay. You're a flower. Can I attack you? What on earth is this? Whoa. The thorns are awesome. Okay. Oh, shoot. I did a ton of damage to that flower. Oh, but he's... <laughs> that attack was hilarious. Alright, so attack its head is what I'm getting. Oh, or just get killed right away. So, Skidoo Tree Avatar? The Avatar of the Skidoo? Hmm. Very interesting. Alright. We are coming to get you, you big... Why do I keep getting these random souls? Let's turn this on. But if we get hit, which we did, we can just dodge through it. Perfect. Okay, not as perfect as I wanted it to be. Jeez, blood loss right off the bat. Okay, I'm not really complaining about that. How did I not dodge through that? Jump and attack. And roots. I don't know how you're supposed to dodge the roots. Okay. Okay. Flower. Okay, jeez, flower. Oh, he's going to attack. That does some pretty good damage for pretty lack of danger. Great. Oh, yeah. Hit him on the way back. Oh, hey. Thought I could get him. Heal. Ooh. Need to heal through that. Oh, he's doing his thing. Ooh. And ooh. Okay, I got hit a couple times more than I'd like. Okay, and take him down his first phase. Perfect. Can I just... Oh, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Forgot that I needed to crit him. All right, he's down. One phase. One down. I'm guessing two to go. Okay. Ooh, he's jumping. He's gonna jump again. I don't love that. Oh, he's jumping a third time. How many times he jump, bruh? Okay, that's not great. 
I just took that to the face. Jeez. Heal. I'll take that one. I'm not gonna take this one. And dodge. Ooh. Hit him with the blood. Perfect. Shoot. Yeah, that one hurts. We're a little closer to death than I'd like to be. Okay, we gotta dodge. Oh, that's just a little baby one. That is really painful, buddy. Okay, we rolled through that. Roll. Roll. Perfect. How did that do so little damage? Oh, because I didn't hit him in the face. You have to hit him in the front. Ouch. So he gets a little bit more frantic with, this, with each phase, it seems like. Oh, come on. I thought I rolled through you. Yeah, rolled through him that time. Woo! Oh, come on. I dodged. Oh, dodged prematurely. And swipies. Swiper. No swiper. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, this one's a failure. Yep, there it goes. Well, at least we died by the front door. Gotta appreciate that. Hmm. I'll give him another try, because I feel like I can beat him. I just need to stay in front of him and dodge, dodge, hit. All right. Let's jump down into this bay over here. Take out the flower. All right, perfect. There's my runes. So he hits you with the range. Roll. And he hits you with it again. Roll. Perfect. And then he comes in with the spin number one. Spin number two. And then we hit him with some sauce. Oh, I accidentally hit him with a little less sauce than I'd like to hit. And ooh. Whoop. Okay. That's fine. We're fine with that. And no thank you. You love that. Okay, wait for it. And then he's going to come out. And then you roll... Oh, I almost tried to roll through. You need to roll through that. And then dodge. Dodge. And dodge. Dodge. Perfect. Not as perfect as it could have been. Roll. Roll. And hit him with sauce. Back up. Back up. Oh, jeez. Okay, perfect. We're out of there. I'll linger for a bit, friend. Thank you. Okay. Ready to dodge through? Yes. Perfect. Roll. Roll. And a little bleedies. Oh, he's running. Okay, perfect. Phase one done. Love it. Let's turn on our flask. Because we can bubble through his, like, crazy jumpy attack. Which he's going to jump at us. So let's get ready for that. Okay. I have learned phase one and phase two-ish. Can I get attack off on him? I can. There he goes. He comes through and then get ready to... Oh, jeez, it's so fast. And go through. Can we do a fourth one? Nope, just three. Roll. Roll. Okay, so he does a little bonus attack on that one. It's good to know. Hit. Hit. Ooh. Perfect. Jump in. Hit him with some sauce. Too much sauce. Hit him with some more sauce. Oh, okay. I'm just going to stay maxed. Because he's probably going to jump on me. Okay, so got to get ready for that one. Oh, man. Let's stay healed because if he hits with the blood loss, we're screwed. Perfect. And we can hit him with that. And then we can jump in and take him out. Phase two. Love that. On to phase three. Haven't gotten to phase three yet. So I'm probably going to heal up real quick just to stay full. Because I feel like phase three is going to be insane. Right? Where's he at? Okay, he's right here. Oh, man. He comes out swang. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, he does come out swanging. But he's tired. He's a tired boy. Oh, my gosh. We can do so much damage to him right there. Let's not be, let's not be an idiot. Heal. He's going to jump through. Yep. Ready? He's going to do it again. Oh, man. He's going to do it again. Perfect. Spin. Sp 
Spin. Sweet. Alright, double heal. Double heal. Oh, he's going insane again. Perfect. Oh, he did supernova so many. Okay, he's tired. Run in. Take him out. Take him out. Come on, let it be it. He's disappearing. Yes! Yes! Mikola's Great Rune and Remembrance of the Shadow Sunflower. Ooh. We gotta check the Great Rune real quick. Um, because that is awesome. Man, that gets your blood pumping. But I feel like he's really not that hard in the grand scheme of things, because, like... Ugh, Mikola's Great Rune, where is that? Um... Where, where was that? Mikola's Great Rune? Hold on, I want to learn about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that real quick, but man, that was intense. <sighs> the fight was wild. Mikola's Great Rune. Nicholas Great Rune and Remembrance. There it is. Retains not but the power to resist charms. A great rune relinquished by Mikola, broken and bereft of its bounty, it retains not but the power to resist charms. Mikola set off for the tower and shrouded by shadow, abandoning everything, his golden flesh, his blinding strength, even his fate. All in an effort to bury the original sin, to embrace the whole of it, and be renowned as a, or reborn as a new god. Oh, that's sad. So he just kind of wanted to be a new dude and then just kind of like shed off all the, the nasties. I cannot believe that we just beat the Erd Tree. That's the... I don't know. I don't think that's the last boss in the in the DLC at all. I think there's definitely a couple more. Oh, but that's insane that you have to get all the way down to the bottom of the castle and get rid of all that water. That felt so unnatural to do that. But man, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys for coming along with me. This one was a big one. I'm probably going to cut out quite a bit because, good lord, I, I've been playing for a hot minute. But this has been awesome. And uh, thank you guys for coming along with me. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! We're getting glorious. We're getting up to mischief. Don't wait, because we're coming in.